<sighs> well, hey guys, it is me, Samar Ruru here, and basically, like, it's been a long time since I've used this kind of thing, based on using the old method thing that you've done on my recording video, those from a YouTube channel, and basically, this is like, the third time I've done this, because like the second two times I was on the newer kind of thing I used to record my YouTube video things. And basically like, every single time I done it after I'd finished recording, and, and like when I tried to save the thing would crash the foot, or like it properly saved so I'd have to delete that video and then try and record it again. Hmm. Yeah, so, anyways, this video is basically going to be on the things which I don't like about being transgender. Because I, although I put on a nice smiley face and stuff for like all my videos and things, well, I think so, anyways. Hmm. Thing is, like, in transitioning into like the gender you. No, you're like supposed to be in your brain and that kind of thing. Basically, isn't a garden of roses and that kind of stuff. There are going to be like a few thorns and the rose bushes. Do people say that? I don't know if they do. Anyways. Basically, for me. I'm going to end up doing more things on that, why I don't like about being transgender. So anyways, I'm going to dive straight into this and stop like, rambling on about pointless kind of stuff, or like, stalling or whatever. Mm. So anyways, the first thing which I don't like about being transgender is basically the like, family divide thing on like, Half my family support me being transgender, yet the other half are not so much. It's basically, we're like, you're a boy, not a girl. Well, you'll never be a real woman. And blah blah blah, yada yada yada, waffle waffle waffle. <laughs> So, any, in what is basically an ever there are still a few people in my immediate family who do so support me, so at least that's like a good thing, and at least all oh, dark clouds have very silver lining, as some people I think still say. And, anyways, as for the Second thing I don't like about being transgender, it is basically the fact that, like, there are a lot of, well, I think there might be a lot of transphobic people out there, like, in the world still. Oh, heck. When it came to me basically doing a reaction video to this, like, Basically, it was on these two YouTubers, Hunter Avalon and Onision, and like, they were doing these responses to like the Manchester terrorist attack, and like, Hunter Avalon, shockingly, and yes, that was sarcasm, chose to basically go and demonize the entirety of Islam. As he normally does, because he thinks that Islam is pure evil and like a cancer or like some sort of disease or whatever. Yeah. And as for Onision, he proceeded to poke fun via Twitter uh, at everyone in the Manchester terrorist attack who died. <laughs> hmm. And basically, there was like this one YouTuber, and she said in the comment section that I was a pedophile. Because apparently, all trans women are just 
mentally unstable pedophiles who want to secretly rape or groom young women. Because apparently they think that like, all transgender people are like that, yet the people who say that basically seem to focus mainly on the transgender women like me and basically forget or ignore the fact that there are transgender men as well as transgender women. So that the pedophile thing pretty much would have to work both ways. The only thing is, there hasn't been anybody in the transgender community who has basically been a pedophile. So, anyways, that kind of thing. As far as, like, don't want to go into a rage, that kind of thing. And also, uh, she also said that, as well as being a pedophile, I is also apparently a terrorist sympathizer because apparently trans women who basically say that it's really a evil version of like a certain religion or don't really like it where people choose to poke fun at the dead and for some reason, hmm? or like transgender, not only are they pedophiles, but they're also like terror sympathizers. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so we even had worse comments than that. I've had people say that I'm like mentally deranged, I've had people who have told me to leave YouTube and to, like, never go on the internet again and, like, delete my cat. Um, I've even had people tell me to go and kill myself. Charming. <laughs> the thing is, no, I am not a tra transgender people are, like, not pedophiles. No transgender people are pedophiles, so, like, get over it and, like, drop the whole transgender pedophile kind of argument because it's annoying as fuck. And basically also when it comes to the whole terrorism kind of thing just quickly pretty much throughout history there's always been one group of people who said one specific religion is basically a bunch of terrorists. More than likely during the holy wars in like the Middle East, more than likely everyone in the Middle East saw Christianity as like terrorism and then that kind of thing. Same way as how Christians these days see Islam as terrorism in general. Because apparently radical Islam and Islam is just the same thing. <laughs> oh so thank God I'm an atheist. <laughs> so basically First thing is, you know, I don't like his family divide. Second thing is transphobic comments. It's such a guy on YouTube. Third thing is basically the fact that on like, the internet there will, there will pretty much always be people who basically choose to pick on and like poke fun at and like uh, do horrible stuff to like transgender people and other people in the LGBT community more than likely that will always be around. <laughs> I mean heck, one prime example of that kind of thing happening is basically like what happened to this girl who was called basically she was called Leela Alcorn, she was a transgender woman and basically she tragically committed suicide due to lack of support from her parents. Like, they were really religious and they only like said that God didn't make mistakes and that she wouldn't be a real woman, that kind of thing. And basically in the end she killed herself by going like running in front of a truck or something. And even after she died, she still winded up having 
people poke fun at her, going, Yeah, one less person to deal with, one less, less pedophile to deal with. Yeah, she burned in an hell where she deserves to be, and blah blah blah. Uh, and some of the comments which I saw when it came to Lila Alcorn's death were so despicable and sickening, I basically had my brain tell me in rage to throw up due to sheer anger. Basically, I felt like wanting to vomit because of the sheer hatred. I mean, seriously. One person done, one person like done a film video thing where she was telling about the stuff which she didn't like about being transgender, right? and loads of people were basically poking fun of her. I mean, one person even said that transgender was a choice, and then a second later, they said it was a mental illness. I mean, like. Are you saying it's a mental illness? Are you saying it's a choice? Are you saying that people can choose mental illnesses like autism or schizophrenia or depression? I don't see that that bad. As for the you know, like fourth and final thing which I basically don't like about being transgender is basically the fact that every time I wake up in the morning or afternoon because not normally when I wake up it's basically like approaching midday or that kind of thing and basically the I like wake up and look at myself and pretty much my brain like says that there should be like certain bits there, seeing as like how I'm a nineteen year old trans one approaching twenty and like my brain saying that there should be certain bits which are there and they're not and my brain is also saying that there should be certain bits which aren't there and they really are there. It's like basically my brain saying that they're supposed to be like female parts. And so it's just like me having like my brain saying that I'm supposed to have like a vagina and a pair of breasts. And in reality they aren't there. And my brain saying that I'm I shouldn't have a penis and I do have a penis unfortunately. And more than likely people in the comments on the again, well, why don't you get a sex change? And the problem is here in the UK, I think what mainly keeps a lot of transgender people like away from having the surgery is primarily due to the sheer cost, like the price tag which is attached to the surgery. I mean, a few months ago, I ended up going and looking on Google. Well, as to whether or not the NHS done sex change operations, and the good news was they did. And or like still do, I don't know. Oh, due to all the women financial cuts which the government has been doing for the past few years to the NHS. Yes. Basically, like the costing attached to it was. Ten thousand pounds, and I do not have ten thousand pounds. I don't have it lying around anywhere. Yeah. Because basically, as we all know, money does not grow on trees. I think the main thing which basically keeps transgender people like me away from having a sex chain is the sheer cost, which comes to like actually having a sex chain plus. Basically, the thing is, is some people are like, oh, transgender people just go into the surgery and like have body parts hacked up and that kind of thing. Yeah, the thing is, you can't just go and, well, for me, I can't just go and 
wake up one day and go, well, I'm going to have body parts hacked off because I want to be a girl now and that kind of thing. Basically, I like, have to be referred by a special kind of person. And that they have to evaluate whether that kind of thing would really benefit me or like, be necessary. And the thing is, in order for me to get the sex change, I need to wind up having the money. And also, as well as the money, I'd need to wind up having a person who would refer me to have the surgery. But in order to have a person who can refer me to have the surgery, I'd also need to go and like get that kind of person in the first place. Like, be you think you need to, like, do that kind of person first of that? From a doctor or whoever. And basically, like, that kind of stuff hasn't happened. In GF for me. I mean, heck. So far, still, nothing has even happened still. And it's been, like, I don't know, two, three, four, maybe even five years. I don't know, it's, like, years since... I ended up being so depressed, I ended up trying to see what, I ended up getting so depressed this years ago that I even ended up going as far as testing which belt would be the best to strangle myself with. And like, basically that kind of thing like, wasn't good. And so far, years and years on, so far, Still, nothing has happened. And, uh, I think a year or so ago, there was even like report and some of the news where people who ended up being on like this whole big kind of list thing, like of referrals to people who are suicidal, but why end up self harming themselves again to go and like make themselves get further up on the list because like. Things were taking so long, and like virtually nothing was happening. <sighs> Sometimes, honestly, I really think it was really a point in like whether or not we should, uh, us Brits, should really deserve to call our country a first world country. I mean, heck, we ended ended up having a government who proceeded to cram a bunch of people who are like really poor people in our society into a building which only had like one staircase, no smoke alarms, no sprinklers, and basically ended up um, having really flammable exterior material. <laughs> I mean, heck. Pretty much what happened with Granville, my like incidents like Granville, pretty much really don't exactly give, I'd say, us Brits really that much to justify ourselves calling our country a first world country. Anyways, going off topic again, I don't want to do that, so, anyways. Yes. Also, one quick thing which I basically, like, want to end the video on is that although I do get loads of, like, horrible comments from, like, a coach, like, once in a blue moon, like, a people saying that I'm a pedophile or a terrorist sympathizer or that I should leave you to, or that I should kill myself or that I'm mentally deranged, because apparently for some people on YouTube, I am a mentally deranged, deranged, and terrorist sympathizing pedophile who should leave YouTube and never return to the internet ever again. Basically, although I get comments like that kind of thing, basically, although I, like, the thing is, although I get those kind of things in general, I know. Well, I don't get them in general, I only get them on occasion. <sighs> but, basically, long story short is, although I get mean comments such as those, those things about, like, the terror sympathizer, and, like, me 
me like being told to kill myself. I know that the thing is, the vast majority, I do get loads and loads of love and support, and like, they really do help me pull through. <sighs> Any, anyways, one thing which like, I'm also going to do soon like, on my birthday, because it's like, well, we're in July, it's like, well, less than, like, I think it's less than two months or so until. Well, I'd say it's still around two months. I don't know. I'm just like, we're in July. Mm. Mm. There we are, there. Only because my brain's saying, like, end the video now, and tomorrow. Don't, like, ramble on to the point you fall asleep. Mm. Basically, the thing is, like, on, a, like, on my birthday, October the 1st, I am going to be doing a test video thing, in a, a trial run sort of thing, a trial video on like the whole Christmas movie review thing, and the only hint I am going to give you guys is that the movie will be involving Kirk Cameron. Basically, I'm not gonna give anything other than that away. So, I'm not gonna give any more, like, hints as to what it could be. This is all I'm saying is that it's involving Kirk Cameron. And that the film's like involving Kirk Cameron. And if it's successful, then, like, I am basically going to do, like, another uh, official one on Christmas. And if it isn't, then I'm going to pretty much abandon the whole plan thing. So, anyways. <laughs> wow, 22 minutes and 7 seconds. Well, over 7 seconds now, because that's still going. Ooh, this video's going on for, like, way, way long. It's going to probably be a nightmare trying to... Get it uploaded, that kind of thing, because that will take it forever, or more than likely, but at least I'll entertain myself by listening to Glee me tunes on my computer, and I will probably also do things like shave my legs, because, like, look at how hairy my legs are. Look how hairy they are. Like, see all the brown stuff, I think that shouldn't be there. Yeah, so I'm gonna think of, like, Maybe seeing my legs and my arm bits as well, because I've never done them before. It's not always in my face. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and, well, bye! <laughs>